Hello and welcome to a new video on Neil's Retro Hobby Room. <laughs> As you can see today, we have a different type of video than the usual videos you see on this channel. In the past, I worked on another hobby project, which is not related to retro computing, but I thought it is still interesting for the viewers of this channel. And it's also electronics related. And in this video, I want to show you the result of this hobby project. And I always dreamed of my own TV backlight. But since in the past these were quite expensive, I thought, why shouldn't I create my own TV backlight? And I'm here right now on <laughs> GitHub page of this project. And as you can see here, is here's a nice um, screenshot of my TV. And you see this backlight here. And the TV backlight shows the same colors as the video currently displayed on the TV. For instance, with this bird here, you can see here is red because the bird is red here. Here is red because the bird is red. Here we have green, here we have green and so on. And my TV backlight is based on two parts. The first part is a Windows computer that I use to watch videos, streams and so on on my TV in my living room. And the other part is a Note MCU, a microcomputer, which is able to control the LED strips that are mounted on the back of my TV. So I bought on eBay I don't know, three meters, not even more, five or six meters LED strip. And then I glued this strip onto the back of my TV. Then I connected this via this cable here to my Note MCU. Here you can see also the power supply. And then the Windows PC sends the analyzed picture data or the data for the strip to the Note MCU and the Note MCU colors and um, or controls the color of the strip. And when we scroll down in this project here, you can see the actual hardware that you need. And I thought it's nice to share this. Maybe someone is interested also to build his own backlight. And here you can see the, the LED strip is a VS2812B with 300 uh, lead, uh, LEDs. And you need <laughs> some big power supply here. It's a uh, 5 volt to uh, volts to 24 volts, 2 amp to 80 amp power supply to power um, the strip. And here you can see the basic um, wiring. So you have behind the TV, you have these LED strips here. These are connected, of course, to the power supply. And also the node MCU is here connected to the power supply. And then you have this one control um, line here, which also is connected throughout the complete strip. But of course, <laughs> it's not connected in a circle because the bus goes this way, then from left to right, from upper to lower, and then from right to left. And I created two programs. One program is running on the Node MCU and the other program is running on my Windows PC. And later in this video, I will show you the Windows program. I wrote it using C Sharp in Visual Studio. And I will show you how this um, <laughs> looks like because I have a nice debug view. And at the end of the video, I also want to show you a three minute uh, demo video of my backlight. And um, here you can also already see the settings window of the Windows um, program. And I created my own network protocol. So the Windows PC continuously sends data um, packets to the Node MCU with um, the pixel offset, so the LED offset, and the red, green, and blue value. And <laughs> if you're interested in the details of the network protocol, or um, in the um, programming of um, your own backlight, then you can have a look at this GitHub repository. And now I think it would be interesting to have a look at the Windows application. I'm here now in the backlights folder. I um, cloned it from GitHub on my recording PC. And I already built the um, backlight program. So you have here when you um, check out my GitHub, you get a big backlight folder, then you get uh, <laughs> some nice demo videos. 
then you get the ESP server and some additional stuff. And we want to have a look at the backlight um, client. So that is the one um, program that analyzes the Windows screen and sends the information to the Node MCU. And I already compiled this. So we have here the binary folder and then the release folder. And all you need to do after you compiled the program, you have to copy the exe file and uh, some DLLs it needed. So it's, it's enough to just copy this here to your Windows PC for which you want to create your backlight. And then what I did when my Windows PC starts, the auto run contains a link to that um, exe file here. And then it automatically starts when my Windows starts. So my uh, backlight is always switched on when my Windows PC is switched on. Let's start the application. When you start the application, you won't see anything. The application then will run in the background. And in the right uh, corner of your um, taskbar, you will see a small icon, which looks like an LED. And when you right click on that, you can um, select between four different modes. You have static color mode. When you enable this, then your backlight will yeah, have a static color that doesn't change based on uh, the content on your screen. Then we have the settings window, and that is what I opened now. Here you can change um, the, st uh, the color for the static color mode. You can define the brightness of your strip. With um, my strip, since the power supply is not so powerful enough, I think it's better to have only about 80% brightness, but this is enough, I think. Then you can define the update rate between 30 and 1 hertz. So in my um, opinion, 10 to 20 hertz is enough. Then you have to define the server IP address. That is the IP address of your Node MCU. And of course, you have to, to define the server port. In my case, this is 1234. And when you compile using Arduino Studio, the server, you have to also define this port. And what I also did, I created a function that automatically powers off the strip when you exit this program here. Then we can um, close the backlight setting. And what I already also created here is a debug window. So when you right click on the icon in the taskbar and you click on show hide the debug UI, you see this UI here. And in this UI, you already see um, the different colors of the corners or the sides of your screen. And these are then sent to um, the Node MCU. And as you can see, for instance, when I um, make this or uh, close this window here, or um, yeah, let's close it, you can see here the colors of your screen here. So this is my desktop right now. And this program continuously analyzes our background. Now, when I <laughs> move the window up to the screen, you should see here that the window here or the, the um, corner of the window or, not, or the side of the window is now white as with this um, <laughs> application here that we move. And these information here are sent continuously to the backlight um, node MCU and then displayed using the LED strips. And I think <laughs> this is a really nice um, program. And it, when you close this, you also close um, the program because <laughs> the, the window also um, is executed using the same thread as the analy analysis th uh, thread. So you have to just restart it. Yeah, and I think this is <laughs> enough said. So uh, in the next three minutes, three to four minutes, I will show you a demo of my backlight on the TV. And um, yeah, if you like, you can uh, clone my GitHub repository and based on that, try to build your own yeah, TV backlight. So thank you very much for watching and enjoy the three minute demo video of my TV backlight. <laughs>